The symbol slash archetype sword and weapon is important throughout many cultures. Example, Jerusalem during the Crusades, the uh, hero's journey, uh, the hero's journey road of trials are bumps the hero will encounter throughout his or her journey. Uh, the road of trials starts uh, when the character has started, has left home or his or her sanctuary. Everything could be stacked against the hero. The road could be bumpy. Anything could happen and the hero will could fail and have to try again and continue that cycle. Um, anything can happen in the road of trials. And I quote, the, the her moves to a dream landscape where he must survive a succession of trials. And quote, Campbell 89. The second um, part, which is the sword, um, the meaning of the sword in the story. Um, the sword is essence is composed of a blade and a guard, therefore a symbol of conduction, and quote, by the story Mr. Schirmer gave me. Uh, it protects the hero throughout the journey. The hero may only feel complete with his weapon. Maybe he uh, doesn't feel the same without it. He feel like he can't perform the same. She can't perform the same. And they feel like without his weapon, the hero is nothing. Um, Roy Hobbs' journey throughout the entire book is a trial. Roy falls into almost every temptation he encounters. Um, it's seen in the beginning. I quote, come to my room and let me welcome you to the city, Mullamed 21. In that um, chapter, Roy has just met a woman and within a few hours or a few days of meeting her, uh, she invites him to a hotel room to uh, commit adultery and he falls for it. And in that consequence for falling for that temptation, he gets shot in the stomach and he is almost never the same. Um, Roy's journey and his road of trials is very connected with his weapon, which is his bat. Every trial he encountered, uh, his weapon was there. When Roy faces his trial of bombing the game for money or winning for his team, he decided he wants to play uh, for the good of the team. But when he tries, uh, his bat fails him because at first he says, yeah, I'll bomb the game to for the money. And then halfway th in the game, he changes his mind and says, no, I want to, I don't want to bomb the game. I want to play for my team. And so I quote, Wonder Boy lay split lengthwise, end quote, Melamed's 116. Roy then continues to worsen in the game, and he loses. And he lets everybody down, he lets his team down. Um, the only person he probably didn't let down was the man who paid him to not lose, to lose the game. Um, so, the whole story is a trial for Roy, but Roy never succeeds. Even his bat failed him. Roy fails every temptation given to him. This is his ultimate downfall. Roy's paid $45,000 to lose his final game. He agrees, but he's also greedy. He says, 35000 is not enough to drop the game, and he asks for more, which he bumped it up to 45000 Roy is a tragic hero who fails. Roy can be compared with the basketball team, the Warriors. They lost a 3-1 lead in the championship. In the championship, They assumed that they were playing the easy picking team and they were wrong. And they paid for it by losing. 